Hey there everyone, it's Ravindra Devrani back with another video. We are continuing the C-Sharp tutorial series. In previous videos, we were doing some exercises related to coding so that we could learn to build some logic. Now we will do the same here and we are going to create a simple console game which is snake, water and gun. I know some of you are familiar with this game. So if you find this video helpful, then please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed the channel, please hit that subscribe button. So now let's get it started. Let's move here. Let's see what this game does. It is a two player game and we will play it with computer. First computer will select any input from this set of characters. Either it will select uh, S means a snake, water W and G means gun and you will also select either one of these characters so if snake versus water it means a snake will win because a snake will drink water in the case of a snake versus gun gun will kill the snake so here a snake will lose gun will win the third case is water versus gun gun drowns in water so water will win and gun will lose so we will write a program for that so let's move to the code editor first of all right here console dot write line and we are gonna write here a simple thing a snake water gun it is a title of our game that's it nothing fancy it is just simple thing a snake water gun now we need a input from a computer that will be generated randomly we will not generate this input this will this input will generate it automatically so how to do that first right here care comp comp equals to it means it is a null character and now let's write here random r and d equals to new random either you can write this or we can replace it with where i haven't used this where till now in this course so where can take anything anything it means where can take integer value where can take double value where can take any object where can take any any random string anything anything it can take anything and it is a type safe but you always need to initialize a where you cannot leave uninitialized where so now okay fine and right here where str equal to wsg means water snake gun or swg snake water gun it means we are going to generate random character from this string it means it will generate either a string either a snake means s or w or g so random characters will be either s either w or g so let's see how can we generate it okay so right here int sorry where r and d index equals to now we get random index and we will get it from a string dot length where r and d care equals to str r and d index console dot write r and d care console dot write this okay so let's generate 15 random 15 random 
characters so let's see int i equals to 1 i is less than 15 i plus plus that's it and let's put this line here we are going to do it just for a testing purpose nothing else so let's see is it generating random characters or not so here s g w w g s w s w g s w s so it has generated a random characters and range will be s w g it means it will not generate anything outside from s w or g that's it so that was the logic for generating random character okay we are going to remove this for loop these two lines also are not needed here and we are gonna assign this comp here so now computer has random generated computer now it's your turn so now you will select a string computer has selected its character now it's your turn to enter a character so first here we will write console dot write enter s w r g So here car user equals to console dot read line and we will convert it to car so convert dot to car fine and write a bracket here now we are fine and we have an input from computer and input from user now we will do some logic part here so first of all if computer equals to snake and user equals to gun let's suppose user equals to water console dot oh, first of all we do not need this first of all we need a draw condition so if computer equals to user it means a draw console dot right line draw if computer equals to s user equals to w it means console dot right line a snake drinks water so here computer wins that's it so in this case computer will win if computer equals to s and user equals to gun now computer will lose and user will win if computer selects water and user select snake here user wins because water will be drunk by snake in this case user will win so if user equals to water and computer equals to water and user equals to gun it means user loses so computer wins that is fine computer wins okay let's see let's try logic for gun when computer have a gun and you have a snake so here computer will win if computer have a gun and you have a water so you will win so these are the conditions so i think it will be right in this side we will have 2s and 2w and 2z so should be here 1w here and 1w here fine 1s here, 1s here, fine, 1g here and 1g here. So 2s, 2w, 2g here, 2s, 2w, 2g here. That is fine and one condition is draw. Okay. Okay, so let's run this program. Let's see. 
okay we will write one more line that i forgot here we need to know what computer has selected so console dot write line computer comp comp user user that's it okay it is looking much fine now let's run this program and let's play this game so i am gonna enter s so here it is a draw okay so here again s user wins because computer has selected water and i have selected s i will drink water okay let's write here g now computer wins because water will draw on the gun and i'm gonna select water now user wins because computer has selected gun okay i'm gonna select again s so it is again a tie okay let's select s again computer wins okay i lose here so so that is the snake water gun game so that is it for now if you find this video helpful then please hit that like button so we will catch up later in next video